But at the heart of, you know, the fight or flight response, you know, fighters are living that every single day um, to the point where allostatic load becomes massive. So again, allostatic load is that management of sympathetic arousal versus down regulation such that you have an inability to uh, reverse that, you know, and now you have this sympathetic tone that is just constant. So every time our athletes come onto the mats or do their job on a day to day basis, that is sympathetic drive maxed out so you know over a career of 10 12 years 15 years of doing fighting and combat activities um our athletes are just exposed to a huge amount of allostatic load that's a massive drain on their sympathetic system the other thing to that is also our sport is a hugely oxidative sport in nature so when you start to talk about energy systems the glycolytic pathways that actually are a determinant of success in the sport of mixed martial arts drives huge acidosis that creates a massive oxidative stress in the body so when you start to look at aries and what it does in terms of being a barrier for oxidative stress you begin to check off all these things that wow fighting and combat and what it does to you know sympathetic arousal and the inability to activate your parasympathetic pathways because you just go 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 and then you overlayer the actual sporting demands you start to say okay this is a population that could really benefit from something like this